tell you what, everyone had the same problem as you, Eric. One minute, there's hardly anyone here. Next minute, you've arrived. This lot have arrived as well. You brought your fan club with you, that's what it is. That's what it is, yeah, yeah. Nice to be back here. I didn't feel to get here, I wanted to be stuck in the infield though. But uh, yeah, nice to be back. I'll tell you what, it's special though, isn't it, this? Special atmosphere, special tournament, it's going to be a special 15 days. Everybody loves all the other tournaments, but there's only one World Championship. And now we've got a proper venue for it, we have to move on, Lally Pally's our home now, and just before Christmas, everybody looks forward to it, they'll, they'll, a lot of them make the effort and get dressed up. It's just, it's just great. Tell you what, you're looking well. What, what have you had for tea tonight? Have you had rice and beans again? <laughs> rice and beans, yeah. <laughs> I just can't get off of it. It's called the Helen diet. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you anyway, Eric. We'll be hearing more from you as the tournament group progresses. Are you commentators on this one? Wayne Mardle and Stuart Pike. Well, we can get on with it now, can't we? Eric Bristow is here. He's in the groove, and so is Paul Nicholson. 125. Good to see. Coach Stompy as well, looking so relaxed, he's had an awful year. Nicholson hasn't had the best of years, but I think when the draw was made, 16. a lot of fingers pointed at Wayne Marvel for drawing this one out, but I tell you, neither of these would have wanted this in the first round and on the opening night. Yeah, I was going to say, Stu, it's the opening night as well. And you've got a hard draw. Whoa. On the opening night, it could all be over before it's begun. For one of these two, Co in his own words, my form has been terrible. Not the best of preparations coming into a World Championships when you've had such a poor year. But up until October, Paul Nicholson's form was eluding him as well. Ninety-five. Well, there he is, Mark Selby. Just won uh, the UK Championship, of course. And, uh, world number 45. one. We'll be seeing you in the Premier League, the snooker Premier League. And Paul Nicholson, this time last year, was hoping to be in the dark Premier League, but it didn't happen. And I wonder last year whether he perhaps believed in all the hype. But you never know. You never know. But a year ago, 165. brilliant 165, possible 13 data, but it's darts like that that had him in the mix 12 months ago. People pay their money, they turn up to watch Paul Nicholson. He is 16. an entertainer. You either dislike what he does or you like it. But if you look now behind Paul's shoulder the crowd are joining in there's plenty of them now they weren't all stuck on the m3 like mr bristow how's he going terrific sight though i have to say it's uh, it's almost full the alley Parry. there have been a lot of transport problems but i think most people have managed to find their way here can paul nicholson find his way to a double at this level he's got to focus Got to ignore this. Got to ignore this. Aim shot to the first one. The crowd Paul already Nicholson. playing their part. Secondly, Kobe to throw first. You heard the boos. And when Paul missed, you heard the cheers. But he put it to the back of his mind, and he done it well, Stu. Getting that double two. There was a bit of pressure on from Kobe, which kicked off with his first 140. The only way for Nicholson really to silence the Boo Boys is to play his game and to play, and when he plays at the top of his game, we know what a talent he is. Too inconsistent, certainly in 2012. But Co Stompy 16. simply fell out of love with the sport for a few months as well. He, he lost confidence and he lost interest in darts, didn't he? He did. And it's easy to do when you're not playing well. Paul Nicholson, no one works harder. He tries to keep fit, Warm practices, he does routines, and then you see the release. I can't tell you enough how important it is to do what Paul done, and that was full extension of the arm. What you do with that, you get the weight right most times. Same with Coke. With a lot of the players, where the darts go astray, it's the release, the actual release from the fingers. They most players we, we see make this carries that, that doesn't 
kind of just throws and stops most top players who follow through and that's the way forward these guys know how to do it they literally do it for a living 97 well this will settle stop me down a lot of support in the arena for Co Stompy. I think it's a row of Co lookalikes. Even had the ball heads on. Now, he requires 64. For a set lock. 64. Single 16. Double 16. There's pressure on this. 32. Well, you can tell by the last card. He requires 72. There's not much confidence. Thank you. In Co's game at the moment, is that not a good dart at all? Has options. Decided to look at double 16. 56. And a chance to break. Three requires 32. This is a big visit. He's got to get this. Set himself down He's and does. Coast under. It's your opening the match. It's the opening night. You want to settle in as Jay quick on. as you can, obviously. But when you haven't been playing well, like Co hasn't. More paramount. Easy for Just, I mean, like, you're talking from experience here. I mean, we were talking about he literally did fall out of love with darts, and, and when the confidence goes, just, just explain 100. what it's like when you, you just can't get yourself motivated and have no real interest to go up there and, and compete. But the reason you're not motivate is because you think that you're going to go up there and let yourself down so what you do you don't build yourself up you you kind of say well i'm not going to practice 100. four or five hours and i'll have an hour you're looking for excuses to lose and when you do lose it's uh, it's none of it's going right but your mindset is wrong in the first place you'd rather 60. go up there and play okay and lose sometimes that's that's the, the mindset of of a loser and in the end when I say in the end, one of my last games on, on that stage was the fact that I just wanted to play well. Whether I won or not was kind of irrelevant, and that 60. is shocking. Yeah, I mean, I, I can understand exactly where you, you're coming from. I remember maybe, I don't know, 18, 20 months ago, 60. going to a Pro Tour event at Wigan, and you were there, you were playing, you were competing, you said you felt really well, and you felt really good. I think you lost the game 6-0 and you didn't quite realise what happened, except that you were trying too hard. This is what happens when you're playing quality players 95. like Coast Stompy is playing every week. You don't get a break. You don't get that one game where you can you can be slightly off the boil and win it. Everything is about results. 100. And uh, these guys are up there now well, we with the crowd singing. Stand up if you love the darts. Well, these chairs are not being used in a commentary box, I can tell you. Well, the crowd are into the match, the crowd are into the World Championship. 54. And I think it's fair to say we're off and running. The World Championship 2013. 64. Not the best setup. 106. Fancy Paul to have one dart at a double, which he will get if he hits the single 14, which he does. Double 16 for a 2 1 lead in the first set. Shot, Mystic Marvel, thank you very much. 2 1 it is, and that will silence a few of the boo boys, I'm sure. Oh, yes, Cole! He's off the mark with the 180s. Well, just to remind you, the winner of this will take on Robert Thornton in the second round. Thornton mighty impressive in the opening match of the tournament. He lost only one leg in walloping Sweden's Magnus Karras. A lot of people have been talking in terms of Robert Thornton being a major threat. He proved why tonight. 91. Played superbly, did Robert, averaging 99. And he may have to do it again.
That's one of these two. Be, no one knows. Second 180 of the net. No. Things are livening up. Well, so far, Nicholson has handled it pretty well. Pressure and 80. all that the crowd has been able to throw at him. Well, that was unfortunate. It was nothing to do with the bounce out. The uh, the flight was in the way in the previous dart. And Co is left. Should we call 50. it the Thornton? Yeah. Took out 150 twice. Well, he has his own way of doing things. It's a good way. 57, 57, 36. That's what he's going for. Left the double. Well, good game this. We thought it would be, have the potential to be the match of the night. Can we put some pressure on Thornton? 138. Thornton, of course, 32. plays the winner. And Stompy here hoping to be the winner. He wants to take this deciding, uh, this first set into a deciding leg. That's all. We've got to go high. No score. He darted himself Will with the first dart. 76. Made it really awkward. And Paul Nicholson, got a 1 3 8 to lead this 76. This is for the set. Game and he gets it. What a set Paul from Paul Nicholson. It was hanging in the balance, but then a 138 followed by a 76 kill. That was settling down. Crowd go wild.